reading from Bhagavad Gita as it is, chapter 3, text 13, Yagya Sista, Shishta, Shina, Shanto, Muchyante, Sarva, Kil, Vishay, Bunjante, Tetva, Agam, Papa, Ye, Pachanti, Atma, Karanat. The devotees of the Lord are released from all kinds of sins because they eat food which is first offered for sacrifice. Others who prepare food for personal sense enjoyment verily eat only sin. So Krishna is continuing to speak to Arjuna how to do karma yoga in this section of Bhagavad Gita. Devotees of the Supreme Lord or the persons who are in Krishna consciousness are called shantas and they are always in love with the Lord as it is described in the Brahma Samhita 5.38, Primanjana Churita Bhakti Velochanena, Shanta Sadeva Hridaye Shubhilokayanti. So we can see, we just heard this in Bhagavatam, what, what, uh, what Brahmaji is saying in, Shrima, in uh, Brahma Samhita. What is that? That the devotees are always in love. They are in love with Krishna. Primanjana Churita Bhakti Velochanena, Shanta Sadeva Hridaye Shubhilokayanti. The Shanta is being always in a compact of love with the Supreme Personality of Godhead Govinda, the giver of all pleasures, or Mukunda, the giver of liberation, or Krishna, the all-attractive person, cannot accept anything without first offering it to the Supreme Person. So Krishna is being called Govinda. Govinda means one who gives pleasures to our senses. We are always trying to find pleasure for the senses by seeing something, we want to see something and we will say, oh, so beautiful. We want to eat something to enjoy the tongue, the taste. We want to hear some music, melodious music. Some, maybe some jazz or rap or depends what, what we are uh, in, inclined to. Or we want to eat some different kind of cuisine, you know, Italian or Chinese or Indian or whatever. Or we want to speak of different things to give pleasure, but, but the only way we can actually give pleasure to the senses is by connecting them to Govinda. He's called the giver of pleasures, Govinda. He's the pleasure of, of all pleasures. He's Rishikesh, the master of senses. So we can feel truly the pleasure only when we uh, connect our senses to Krishna, engage our senses in the, in the service of Krishna speaking about Krishna, hearing about Krishna, uh, accepting Krishna Prashad, looking at the beautiful form of Krishna. And then he's called Mukunda, giver of liberation. We want liberation, we need to pray to Mukunda, Krishna. He's the only one who can give liberation, no one else. No one else, even Durga Devi. Durga Devi is the, uh, she is in charge of this full material creation. She is Krishna's external energy, external potency of Krishna. Even she can't let us go out. She's like the jailer, you know. So there is a prisoner in the prison. And no matter how good he is to the jailer, the jailer might give him some, okay, you can sleep in a better cell or I'll give you some better comforts inside the jail. But the jailer cannot let the jail, the prisoner go out. No, no, no. You have to finish your term. Until, unless you get a special... Uh, you get a special, what do you say? You get the release order from the president. I cannot let you go out. So Durga Devi, she's just the jailer. Many people pray to her, thinking that she's the ultimate. Of course, she can give, she can give some comforts. You know, as we just said in the jailer, okay, I'll give you a bed to sleep on. I'll give you AC in your jail room. Or I'll give you maybe food in a better plate or maybe higher, better quality of prashadam, but still in the jail. We want liberation, only Krishna can. Only Krishna can remove us from this material world. No one else, not Lord Brahma, not Lord Shiva, no one, no one, only Krishna. And then Krishna, all attractive person. Krishna is called, the name Krishna means all attractive, all attractive. He attracts everyone. He attracts all our hearts. And so a person who's in love with Krishna, he cannot accept anything without first offering it to Krishna first. This is a symptom of love. When we love someone, when we have something, we want to share it with them. You have it first, then I'll have. And then we feel happy. Oh, they like it so much. 
then we feel happy. We enjoy. Same. That's the relationship between Krishna and the devotee. It's based on love. Therefore, such devotees always perform yagyas in different modes of devotional service, such as shravanam, kirtanam, smaranam, archanam, etc. And these performances of yagyas keep them always aloof from all kinds of contamination of sinful association in the material world. So the pure devotees, what are they doing? What is the yagya of Kali Yoga? Their devotional service, bhakti yoga, bhakti yoga. And bhakti yoga, what is that? Hearing, Shravanam, hearing about Krishna from Bhagavad Gita, from Bhagavatam, from the pure devotees, hearing from the pure devotees. Kirtanam means speaking about the glories of Krishna, 